Hey everybody, Will Healy here. Happy Friday. As with every Friday, you get a bad dad joke, so here we go. What did the tie say to the hat when they were on a hike? You go on ahead. I'm just going to hang around here. Get it? Ahead? Hang around? Okay, it's a bad one. I know, but I like it. Uh, anyways, we're going to do a basics today. The basics I want to talk about is how do pneumatic cylinder sensors work? And uh, to do this, we have to talk about how a pneumatic cylinder works. And so a pneumatic cylinder is an actuator used in automation to make things happen. It's the outputs, just like the muscles in your body are the outputs of your body. The pneumatic cylinder is a big workhorse in, in automation. And so what happens is air comes in this side and the pressure pushes the piston, this is the piston, pushes the piston forward. And then when the air pressure is higher on this side, it pushes the piston back. And so we can, we can move it back and forth. Some people do uh, crazy regulator things where they can actually control the motion, but typically most air cylinders are either all the way retracted or all the way extended. And then uh, we switch the directions based upon what we're trying to do. So usually they're very discreet, just extended or retracted. And so a pneumatic cylinder sensor is actually used to detect which end of the stroke is it at? Is it extended or retracted. Now I'm going to put it just in the middle here so you can see it easily, but uh, I've got a pneumatic cylinder sensor. It works using magnetic fields and on here is a magnet. And so you can see the sensor when I put it in position, you can actually see the light turn on. And so when the light turns on, that's saying, yes, I detect a magnet. And you might be able to hear my little tester here making a bunch of noise. And so Yes, I'm detecting the magnet. And so I can actually use this. I can mount it on the cylinder at the retracted position. And when I mount it on the cylinder at the retracted position, I can actually say, yes, the cylinder is retracted and in the proper position where it needs to be. And so you get closed loop feedback in your control. And so that's why you use a magnetic field sensor for positioning because you want to make sure, please extend. And then the sensor tells you, yes, you extended. And so that's how a pneumatic cylinder sensor works and also how a pneumatic cylinder works. So happy Friday and have a great weekend.